So now speaking of business settings, if you really live in Nexat Hub, you might appreciate our new shortcuts in Nexat files. Yeah, I think they're super handy and I'm so glad to see them coming to files too. And for the more organized people among us, which I like to count myself among them, um, we have also improved the tag in feature. You can now tag multiple files at once. Just select them and click apply changes. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, another thing that was added is the ability to have colorful tags. And I think there's also a setting for administrators to control this feature. Yes, admins can now block users from creating tags to make sure that everyone is just using a predefined set of tags. Keeping things organized, nice. So these are many of the bigger things that we wanted to talk about, but there's one more very visible thing. So Nextfile is of course used all over the world by, well, tens of millions of users. And well, they speak of course, well, many, many languages. And Nextfile does support more than a hundred languages. And we also need for some of these languages, a different interface because some languages are right to left instead of the usual, well, usual, but more common left to right. And well, we worked on this for this release. And so with Nexon Hub 10, we have proper support for right to left languages that need it. Yeah, this looks very impressive because it's not just the language that needed to be updated, but the whole interface is mirrored. Yeah, exactly. It's, um, it's quite a different way to uh, look at your usual Nextcloud. I think that covers some of the basics in Hub 10. Of course, we did a lot more with this release. Right, there's always more. Um, a really cool thing, I think, is the addition of rich tech support in the profile. So you have like a profile page with where you can put like a description of yourself or something funny. And um, yeah, it now supports rich tech. So, you know, you can use headers and bold and, and these things. I think that's nice. Another cool improvement is that you now can get a reminder uh, the day before a public link expires. I think that's also really helpful. Yeah, very helpful. Um, very handy to have that. Uh, there's also one more big thing that we almost forgot to mention. Right, and that will be document conversion. So you have this situation sometimes where you need to send a document as a PDF, uh, like, I don't know, your resume maybe. And so then you would need to download it from Nextcloud. You need to locally convert it to a PDF and then upload it again. Or maybe you want to turn, you know, an extra text document from Markdown to a Word document. And so again, you download it, you use some local application to do this, and then you have to upload it again. And that's, of course, a little bit of a pain. Yeah, quite tedious to have. Now, um, with the Hub 10 release, this is all the thing of the past because we now introduced built-in document conversion. Super cool. It is accessible in 3.menu in files and it can handle lots of different file types. The best part is that it uses a plugin structure so our community can add support for other conversions in the future. Yeah, I think that's a really nice addition as well. And I look forward to all the different file conversions that get added over time. 